The question, what does it mean, replaced the older, what does it look like, when the modern age took hold. Three galleries at the ADAA Fair featured artists who balanced theory and personal imagery. Richard Dybenkorn, seen at the Greenberg Van Doren, was a mid-century player who broke from the pack to cut a gentle path through the aggressive world of Ab Exers. The featured work reveals his efforts to adapt to trends and the ultimate victory of his older, later style. At l &M Arts, Joseph Cornell, a self-taught artist, used emerging trends, but sparingly. His boxes, collages, and toys still captivate us with their mysterious combination of elements. Cornell's style evolved, but he never fit into any of the changing trends. As a result, his vision was never unfashionable and continues to inspire. Milton Avery is another semi-self-taught artist who stood his ground. Represented by Nodler and Company, Avery is referred to as the American Matisse. He was not an originator, but his figures do attest to his graphic sensibilities and perhaps more importantly, his sense of humor and humanity. In a century ravaged by war and hardship, he leaves us with a picture of life's quieter, happier moments. Ideas are the foundation of modern art, but when they fall short, they prove the point that personal vision survives as the heart and value of art. I'm Julia Morton, and this is now on for City Arts and cityarts.info. Thank you for watching.